with breaking news. This is News Channel 5 at 6. Our coverage of the breaking news, the TBI raid on the Millersville Police Department continues now at 6. And good evening to you. I'm Carrie Sharp. I'm Rory Johnston. After months of questions raised by News Channel 5 investigates, the TBI descended upon the Millersville Police Department as well as the home of the, that department's conspiracy-minded assistant chief, Sean Taylor. Our chief investigative reporter, Phil Williams, is leading this investigation for us. He joins us now with team coverage of this major development, Phil. That's right. Minutes after we got word about TBI agents being spotted outside Millersville City Hall, our entire News Channel 5 Investigates team sprang into action, trying to learn what we could from watching as the raids unfolded. Taking to the air in Sky 5 for a bird's eye view of the Millersville Police Department. And here on the ground, we watched as TBI agents executed a search warrant issued by a local judge. Photojournalist Brian Staples captured these images of the two men at the center of the investigation. Police Chief Brian Morris and Assistant Police Chief Sean Taylor could do nothing but pace and wait as agents comb through their offices inside City Hall. Agents initially directed their attention to a number of vehicles parked outside City Hall. A local resident captured this image of agents searching an unmarked police car as a police chief and a detective looked on. We'd like to talk to you about some of your conspiracy theories. All right, well, have a good day. All of this comes amid questions raised by News Channel 5 Investigates about the town's assistant police chief and his sometimes bizarre conspiracy theories. Authorities have confirmed that the TBI is investigating the potential misuse of sensitive law enforcement data as Taylor has pursued those theories, as well as questions surrounding what appears to have been a botched child predator sting involving a controversial out-of-state group. But the searches were not confined to City Hall. Nine miles down the road, photojournalist Bob Stinnett and investigative reporter Levi Ismail were monitoring the second raid. We're just north of Millersville here outside of Assistant Police Chief Sean Taylor's home. Now, you could see one TBI vehicle right behind me here, but there are about seven others right down this driveway outside of the home. We've seen TBI agents going back and forth from their vehicles to the home, carrying documents, carrying clipboards. There's been a lot of activity outside this home. Now, TBI hasn't told us what they're searching for quite yet, but Sean Taylor has made several claims about the Covenant School shooting, about local lawmakers and their connections to child trafficking. And so part of the question has been, has Sean Taylor been using his access through Millersville to conduct some of these investigations for his own agenda? At this point, those are all questions that TBI is hoping to answer by running an investigation here, by searching his property, and at some point, we hope to have an answer as to what they find. Meanwhile, online, the reaction from Sean Taylor's camp was predictable. Friends, I just did a live podcast with 16 million people exposing how Tennessee Bureau of Investigations just raided the chief of Millersville Police Department raided his home and raided the police department. As the conspiracy theorists at the center of that botched child predator sting blamed me for that TBI raid, which he claimed is designed to cover up for child sex trafficking in Tennessee. The locals there who have been victims of organized crime exposed to us that, uh, yeah, Phil Williams is a cover-up man, um, that um, the TBI does have a, a percentage of their bureau that's corrupted. Still, a Millersville City Commissioner tells me he hopes this raid will be the beginning of an effort to restore sanity in the town he calls home. The fact that the TBI is here, does that give you hope? It gives me a lot of hope, and I'm glad they're here. Maybe we get answers for the people of this city. Now, neither Sean Taylor nor Chief Brian Morris has spoken to me throughout my investigation, but the chief did speak to a local news source, the Smoky Barn News, telling them that this is, in his words, all political. And we want to be clear, Phil, the TBI, you know, they plan these things, but they can't do it by themselves. They had to get a warrant from a judge. That's right. And to get a search warrant, you have to present probable cause that a crime or crimes have been committed and that the evidence of those crimes will be found in the locations being searched. So there's a lot that goes yeah. into getting they a don't search just warrant. Rubber stamp this is a warrants. very standard yeah. process. Right. And yep. a very serious development. Yes. Yeah. We will wait for the next shoe to drop. Thank you.